Trick shot with a grenade, baby. Look at that. Lads, the first new item added to Fortnite Rex since the initial seasonal update is now here. And I'm not talking about the boogie bombs. The tri-beam yeah. laser rifle from the Fallout franchise is now in the game the duo to the present Nuka-Cola healing item. Now the weapon can hit decently hard, but I suppose the main gimmick is that it has infinite ammo and it hits a bit of bonus damage on the vehicles. And now that the vehicle's health has been nerfed a bit, especially in solos, the question is, should you be using the tri-beam laser rifle yourself? We're gonna answer that in this video. Comment your thoughts on the current state of Fortnite, and of course, like and subscribe and use code Sourheart in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel. Fine, man. Throw three pumps at me. Yes, I want your white hammer pump. I'm so freaking excited to see a white hammer pump, bro. That's what I got up early in the morning on Tuesday to play with. No, not the tri-beam laser rifle. I want that pump, dog. He's get it, bro. Ooh, he's actually got it on him. Thank you. Infinite ammo, by the way. Fire rate of three. Let's actually grab that Warforged. Or what did I have out here? Where's that little blue guy? Because we are in build mode. It does matter. Fire rate of 7.2 on the Warforged. And a fire rate of 9.5 on the Harbinger. This thing is not getting through walls. I think you need 11 to get through walls. Between 10 and 11 and you'll start going through walls. What I'm curious to see is how good the Tri-Beam is at like longer ranges. Really? 100% a bot. But that also means we can test the tri-beam rifle. I mean, if we don't get that little bit of lag right there, that would have been a clean laser. So not that bloomy, actually. It's like got a little ring to it. So it can be within the ring, but I think it's got a pretty big projectile. The projectile is probably about a half or a third the size of the ring. Okay, that bloomed a little bit more than I thought it would. I don't know what happened with that guy. Is that a bot? That was the oddest box up I've ever seen. Hundred percent. Oh, they're getting better. The bots are getting skill. Oh, this is not. This is the human. That is not a human, but dude, that was kind of convincing for a second. <laughs> of course, this guy is just holding up a bunker, bro. Well, I, I want to wait for him to try to get him with the uh, laser rifle. I need to get more laser rifle clips, baby. I don't even care. I'm full send in. Full send in. Oh, I, I heard you could actually do this. Yeah. That's how you collect your gold. You cannot mod the laser rifle at all? Oh no, this thing is not good enough to be an SMG. If you can't mod that thing, dude, I, it's gonna be very situational when you actually use this. We'll see. Unmoddable laser rifle, kind of not a good thing. Trick shot with a grenade, baby. Look at that. He better get off my pump. Oh, come on. I swear, they make these edges rounded on purpose.
don't know why he wanted to fight there. That was not the smartest play he's ever made. Really? He hits me through that? This guy has so much advantage. And I am so rusty, I will be real here. I think I'm the only real. He had 22 health as well. I wanted to get the finish with that laser right there. GG's. I might have actually finished him if I had used the Harbinger. That's what's crazy about it. I was botting out, but that dude actually took a big chunk from those fists. After that super close loss, I think it's time for us to return to our tier list and place the two new items where they belong. But first, let's do a bit of rearranging because after playing this season for a couple weeks, my opinions on some of these items have definitely changed. And I think I was a bit too generous with the placement of some of these weapons. First, I'm gonna have to move the DMR down to mid. In a season where the Deagle is so easy to obtain and you can even get that mythic from the floating island, I don't really feel the DMR right now. The Deagle is the only thing using the sniper rounds as well, so there's no ammo crossover. It just makes it the better option. Also gonna have to drop the Warforge down to mid. Just know that I'm a controller player, so I have to deal with recoil differently than people who use a mouse, and because of that, I'm not really picking up the Warforged if I can get my hands on the Enforcer or the Thunderburst. Combat Shotgun has fallen out of favor with me, gone down to the mid, and the Gatekeeper is my new favorite shotgun right now. Simply put, both of these shotguns are going to fire at the exact same rate, but you're going to hit harder with the Gatekeeper, and if you put a 5 round drum mag on it, you're going to have a good time. Nothing that's in the mid right now is truly trash, though I will move the repair torch up to peak because with the recent changes to the boss vehicles to not heal themselves, you are definitely going to be wanting to carry this repair torch and it's necessary in duo and squad modes as well. The vehicles remain the same and the mythics and medallions I'm going to have to change up a little bit. I really, really do like the mythic frenzy auto because it is so damn powerful, it's essentially a cheat code. This thing is way better than the combat shotgun, and the current meta right now with the dance bombs is not favoring long range shotguns at all. It's favoring the barrel stuff. And that's also why the mythic gatekeeper is gonna move up as well. Despite not being moddable for a drum mag, only three rounds in that magazine, you gotta hit your shots. The amount of power this thing has in it means if you're hitting those shots, you're not gonna need more than three especially in solos. That's where this thing thrives, is in solos. Ranking the two new items, we have the Dance Bomb, which will soon be replaced with a working EMP. The thing about the current version of the EMP is it does not actually disable the car turrets. So Epic Games is having to reprogram this thing, retool it. I expect we'll see it reintroduced to the game in the next couple of weeks. But until then, we are rocking Dance Bombs, and these are always peak when they're in the game absolutely game defining you get free hits on people for no particular reason just because you got lucky with an item and it is the hardest counter possible to the car meta the tri-beam laser rifle however is a bit mid i want to put it in trash in my heart but i want to put it down at the bottom of mid because i think they can rework this to be something good it just doesn't have a point it doesn't hit hard enough to justify its low fire rate it overheats before it's really done a good amount of damage to these vehicles and you cannot kit this at a mod bench so that means there's no increasing the mag size there's no increasing the accuracy or even putting a scope on it it needs one of those three things to have a point until then it's at the very bottom of mid, unfortunately. But do you agree with my rankings of all these items in Fortnite Season 3? Comment down below what your go-to loadout is. And of course, use code SARHARD in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel.